Good afternoon, YouTube. Hey, y'all. We're back. Yes, we're back again. Uh, we're back again. Freshly married. Um, oh, you keep trying to hand, <laughs> hold my hand up, but I'm oh, sorry. No. I took my ring off when I took a shower because yeah. I don't want to lose my diamonds. Not yeah, she's already had to have it repaired already. So, um, but we just want to say thank you to everybody. That's because I wash out. dishes. Thank you to everybody that came out to the wedding. Thank you so much. And <laughs> Thank y'all. We really appreciate it. We had an amazing time. I did not expect as many people that, that did, or the people that did show up. I didn't expect them to, um, which meant the world to me and, and to my husband here. And um, also, it was just just fun. It was like a fun wedding. Yeah. Like we actually had fun. And so I'm just, so many people took pictures. So many people through the past week now have been sending us pictures daily. Um, so that being the case, I mean, that is just, we're just so grateful. We, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm still literally just floating on cloud nine about it because we're still being, you know, blessed by, you know, church members and giving yeah. us cards and everything so it's just been it's been really good well i do want to say um once again there was an issue with the invitations going out so a lot of people didn't get invitations right, so right. Uh, we do apologize right. for that but we do thank everyone that did come out all right um it was just a wonderful sight to see looking right. out in the crowd and, and seeing my family in yeah. attendance and yeah uh, i love you guys so much um yeah shout out to the um, our party i'm calling by name cousin emmanuel <laughs> like, Preston, oh you uh, mean the groomsmen yeah, the the groom's groom's yeah. yeah so yeah shout out to you guys thank you so much for being there for him being there for us. Young PJ. <laughs> she cute. <laughs> but uh, it was, it, thanks so much for just being there for us. Um, I want to give a shout out to my bridesmaids. You guys were the best. I have like tons of pictures of you all literally jumping into action to help me get dressed, help me get my shoes on, help my get my hair together. <laughs> um, shout out to my uh, little sister. Um, Chelsea, she uh, did my makeup, did a fantastic job. She uh, has her own uh, company called uh, Cotton Ball, uh, everything Cotton Ball Cosmetics. Uh, she does like makeup and she has hair and different things like that. So definitely check her out. I appreciate you. I love you to the moon. And I, I'm just grateful. It just went over very well. Yes, it did. Um, I was just crying a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just, it's okay. I just it's cried okay. a lot, and then yeah, like, yeah, and then like our first dance, I cried, and no, no the dance. whole, pretty much the whole dance. And he was like, "It's okay." <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. "Yeah, I got makeup all on my shirt, but it's cool." But <laughs> <laughs> like an imprint of my face, just, just. But uh, anyway, we're just so, we're appreciative. Thanks, Mom, for everything you've done. My sister, who was my maid of honor, I'm just so grateful um, for you being there and all, everyone's kind words. And uh, it just meant so much. It really meant so much and, to us. And being real, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, it, it is a joy to, you know, especially uh, Shine Maestro came through, played oh, yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. and. Then uh, we had uh, Stuart Styles, um, and the Vinicky. artist of the year. Yeah, artist yeah. of the year. Uh, and and uh, uh, Michaela West. Michaela you know, West, uh, uh, another artist. Uh, uh, and uh, she, she's she got some uh, movie out, so check uh, her out. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot the name of it. It's like I... I want a husband hey. for Christmas or something. Hey. Anyway, it's it's on it's on Amazon Prime, huh? Was that the one? Yeah, that watching? I was. Yeah, oh, we watched a little bit. Yeah, yeah support so, the local people. Yeah, please. so it was just it was just good having her, you know, and Stuart and everyone just saying uh, in the in the wedding. I I 
Honestly, I just, I'm still very full with everything that's been going on, and I'm just so grateful. And we will put a slideshow up for the people that want to see how it went. You know, we do have a couple of behind-the-scenes moments. We do, we do. But, we, we'll, uh, we'll see how we'll set it up. I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll, we'll work it out. Um, we, um, we also <laughs> wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping from one of the podcast episodes. Yes, we uh, We did an episode about Satan Shoes, which, you know, Lil Nas X had a Satan video. Satan Shoes! Called Montero, oh, wow. and I guess he teamed up with a, uh, a a shoemaker to make a set of Nike Airs in the image of the devil and devil imagery, and against the Nike company had a, because of had Nike a drop company. of blood in souls, and Nike wound up suing him over the situation. Nike had no idea this was happening. But um, the issue that we had was a few people were, you know, kind of riding for him on the situation, as if yeah. the 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 issue. They, people were trying to make the issue that people were coming against Lil Nas X for him being gay and my whole thing was we didn't even really care about the video. We didn't really say much about the video because we didn't watch the video. And then also the whole him coming out, that wasn't something we were addressing. We weren't even going near that at all. No. We were talking merely the shoes, the shoes. and the and and the just the imagery around those shoes right what it meant what it looked like what he, image or what he's giving off to people just by what the shoes look like we were talking mainly about that um and personally oh go ahead well, the main thing that i wanted to make known you know because i ain't trying to i don't know who stands where on, on gay issues and stuff like that it's not an anti-gay thing it's anti-devil worship here. We don't worship the devil uh, with nothing that we buy. We don't uh, purchase apparel or imagery with Satan depicted in a positive light, period. Well, I, yeah, I, I think what basically what I feel on the matter is it wasn't, period, it wasn't about anything that was... Um, down down with the uh, LGBT community it it wasn't a the podcast had nothing to do with that it had only to do with the shoes right and i think sometimes people try to force a a a subject on you to see how you'll react to it and what we're saying is we're not going to react and to then, it we're not going to being honest, feed into it and i just want to say just being honest you know, the people that know me, people that I call family, know where we stand at on this issue. So, you know, I don't have to we explain don't. myself or anything on that. Right. But I will say, you know, so to be perfectly clear to the people who are new to the channel, who are new to watching us, uh, we both work in the church. Uh, we work yeah. in music ministry for a long time. Yeah. And while I do sometimes go out and play secular music or I work on proje projects for artists that do, um, is Jesus here for me? I don't, uh, I don't condone any devil worship or or that of any kind. I just want to make sure that, you know, if somebody came to me and said they wanted to use something I did for devil worship or certain artists that do that, that's not what I'm out here for. You know, and 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 with that being the case, like it, you know, it's sad that we are now living in a time where we have to tell people we have to like make our claim and hey this is where I stand this is this and that because you should just be able to just be you know what I'm saying now I know we talk about some some things that you know are a little edgy can can be a little edgy like one thing you all forgot well we didn't get to talk to you guys about was Derek Jackson mm. Ooh, you know <laughs> um, we didn't get to talk about that. We had a lot of views on him. But we talked about you know, it on but the podcast. We did, but we didn't get to see you guys. And all I'm saying is, is that sometimes, you know, you know, we talk about some things that might they might hit close, a little close to home, or might like peak the edge of what you might feel is as a little too much. And, you know, again, we're not trying to uh, step on any toes. We're not trying to do that. We are merely saying our own point of view on the matter. And right. with that shoe thing, I'm gonna just tell you, most of uh, most black people, most of us have grown up in church, or had a grandma, or a grandpa, 
or uh, an auntie that raised you in church. So you have a general idea about the church and what the belief system is. So for anybody to see that, if you grew up in church, you know your grandmother would be like, that's of the devil. No. Those shoes are of the you devil. Get, you get the black beat <laughs> You would get, you know what I'm saying? We ain't played with the devil like that. A thousand dollars? You know what I'm saying? That were bootleg? No, no, I wish bootleg. I would tell my mom I want some Satan shoes. Those, man. My mom be, oh, you want some Satan shoes here? Oh, okay. I got your man, Satan. You, I got your Satan shoes. Man, <laughs> you couldn't even watch her <laughs> stuff at grandma's house talking about the devil. Right. So, so again, like I'm saying, we just saying all of this to say, you know, um, I, I appreciate that everybody is tuning in and listening to our podcast. I appreciate that people have opinions, you know, but at the end of the day, no one, no, uh, we're not attacking. Even when we talked about um, the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, we're not attacking uh, the Caucasian community because we have uh, deep rooted opinions on black black matters right and then so we don't know. want so i'm saying this to say we don't want anybody to look at any particular group being attacked because you have an opinion on something right and then anything that we feel like is you know in particular of passion and interest to us or we feel like it may be too live to put on youtube we'll definitely do a podcast on it and leave it there and we definitely direct you to go there for any topics that, like I said, because, yeah, George Floyd's trial is going on right, right now. now. And our prayers go out to his family and yeah. that community and to that police department because some of the testimony is, is obviously shocking. And yeah. I, I didn't want to, man, I, I just, it's, it's tough for me to even think about, you know, everything that's going on with, you know, when the... When the the state of the fate of our country seems like it's on the, you know, it was on the the fate of our country was in the balance during the election and is on the balance during this whole situation with the attack on Washington and now yeah. the the peace of the country and the reckoning of the country is on the case of this trial. So right. we just want to just do everything we can because I just made a comment on one of the videos and somebody I had four or five people. <laughs> Coming at me like, like, uh, you like know, he, like you did. I, I didn't know it was this much racism on YouTube, but it is what it is, you yeah. know, with people. Because I can't go in somebody's home and tell them, hey, this man is dead and you should respect that memory of that guy. Or, you know, this man was killed on video and, and you guys are acting like it's not a big deal. You know, I don't, I cannot, I don't tell grown people what to do. But the main thing is you have to protect your peace. And if sometimes that means keeping your comment off certain situations or, you know, just he not. Said he, don't, <laughs> he, don't, he said he don't. He said he don't tell grown people what to but do. But I make sure to stay in my lane. Sometimes you just got to mind your business. You know, somebody over there doing something, if it's not, if yeah. it's not in your way, you have to just know, hey, this is my lane and I'm going to do what I feel is right Y'all, keep it moving. He tell me what to do a lot. <laughs> and since we're here let's go ahead and talk about it let's talk about all the things that he tells me to do I don't know what he just did I don't know but we just <laughs> anyway. want to give a big thank you to everybody yes you know? thank you thank you uh, thank we you we will try to keep these up you know at least once or twice a week and we'll be back on the podcast soon uh, so we'll be discussing a few things. A lot of big things popping, y'all. Relationships, you know, we're gonna get back oh, to that. I thought we were gonna talk about that uh, no, question, we but we don't want to do it here. We we're gonna, do <laughs> we're gonna stick to the podcast. Yeah. So check out the podcast, and um, we appreciate you guys. We we missed you. We hope everyone's doing well. We've got some really hot, fiery discussions to come up with. Oh, yes. And, uh, you know, we're, we're changing up a little bit. I hope y'all like, uh, I hope y'all like our background. You know, see, we working on some stuff. Yeah. You know, I done by me. You know, I'm trying to get the house together. <laughs> trying to make it look like something. I'm trying to turn a house into a home. You know what I mean? Uh. You know. 
Okay, so anywho, that's all we've got. We're about to go and and do what we do. All right, we'll do um, once again. Shout out to the family. Love you guys. And Love you guys. We'll see you guys next time. All right, bye guys. Oh, I have to turn off the video. That's my cue. Okay.